What are you afraid of? Really, I mean, what is it that you're trying to seek outside of your own self, outside of your belief system and your skill set? Um, and the reason why I'm asking this question today, hey folks, this is Philip Lied. Team Lied, live your dreams every day, also known as the Prosperous Rhinoceros. And real quick, the reason why I'm asking you guys this question is, why do you doubt yourselves or why do you, you know, cut short the success that you could possibly have when you're just around the corner? And the reason why I ask this is because this week, you know, my beautiful wife is um, starting her new position and she's qualified for it. She has the experience. She has the formal education. She has the skill set in which she can do extremely well in this career field, yet she's still doubting herself in some capacity. And I think one of the things that she was trying to um, push off or redirect was the fact that she was saying, oh, man, I, I need a job where I could be home with my children. And yes, we all want, you know, time and mobility, freedom. But at the same time, what she doesn't realize is that there is a learning curve in which you need to um, accomplish first. And once you get over that learning curve, and this isn't anything that you do. In her particular case, she has a learning curve because she's with a new system in a new company. And the paradigm or the standards slash expect expectations are going to be different than with her previous job. Now more is being required of her because she's being compensated for that. And the same thing is with your own success or whatever goals you're having in your life. Do not cut yourself short into thinking that you cannot do it because you're not seeing the results immediately. Get off of the whole instant gratification nonsense that you see people posting on social media or online every day because nine out of ten times those people are not doing what they say they're doing. What they're doing is they're just simply copy and pasting somebody else's success and just inserting their name or maybe personalizing that, that particular story. And if you've been, well, in my case, if you've been burnt enough times or you've been misled into thinking that um, you were going to achieve ten thousand dollars in 30 days, you know, with no real skill set in place or no real plan of action. Because remember, the culture in North Carolina is going to be different than the culture in Atlanta It's going to be different in the culture in New York. That's going to be different in the culture of Montana or it's going to be different in the culture of the Philippines. So let's just be cognizant of that and let's just drive on. Understand and be clear where you need to be at in life first. Then understand that you can do this. If you don't believe in yourself, nobody else will. So stop putting those seeds of doubt into yourself. You know, stop putting those seeds of doubt or trying to justify the fact that you need to do something else prior to becoming successful. Personally, um, we, we were all tempted into um, wanting the convenient route or wanting the easy way out of things that deem challenging. But I will tell you this, um, and I look at this even in being a parent, that the things that you work the hardest at, this also includes my marriage and anything else that I've accomplished. Like I said, tomorrow I'll be graduating with my um, fourth master's degree. But even with that process, and people are always looking at the end result, stop looking at the end result as being monetary gain or accolades or recognition and things like that. Look at the process of those small victories that you've accomplished to understand what success truly is. It's not the end result that makes you successful, but the process in which you've grown that makes you a better person, better leader, better role model to those around you. I'm going to cut it short today, so be sure to follow me, comment and comment on any of the points that I've made, as well as share this video with others so that they may benefit from that. I look forward to seeing you guys on stage. This is Philip Live, the Prosperous Rhinoceros. Peace.